right and I just want to say that we have to be a voice for the voiceless you see little babies uh, elderly uh, people who are sick they can't speak so you have to be their voice you see what this world needs is more empathy and compassion to care about your fellow man. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. That means somebody in your circle, somebody you're taking care of, take care of them the same way you would take care of yourself. Don't neglect them, don't throw them away, don't disregard them, because they have a voice. And you need to be their voice and you need to know what they want. Even if they can't talk, even if they can't speak, even if they're inside of your belly. Think about it. If you were in that baby's position, would you want to die? Put yourself in the baby's position. Put yourself in, 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 put yourself in that predicament. You're fighting for your life. You're fighting for life. You're fighting to breathe. Would you want somebody to just stop your process? You know, you ever cook something and you're so focused on what you're cooking. Imagine somebody coming in and stopping everything you're doing. The, the perfect meal you're trying to create. Somebody comes in and ruins it. And that's what happened to these babies, to these defenseless, not only babies, but people. And so I want to challenge us today to treat people with a measure of love, a measure of kindness. Treat people the way you would want to be treated. That's what it means to love your brother as yourself. Try not to be selfish in this world. There's enough of that. Care about people. I mean, you only them once. Why not enrich the quality of your life? Why not enrich the way you treat people so that you can have a blessed life? You know, I was just on a YouTube channel and they were talking about having a blessed life. Well, having a blessed life, in order to have a blessed life, you have to be a blessing. You see, if you're not a blessing, how are you going to have a blessed life? If you, if you don't walk around with a smile and a joy inside your heart, how are you going to have a blessed life and a blessed experience? How is that possible? It's not possible. So I want to challenge us today to speak up. Let your voice be heard and be kind and be gentle. And be merciful to the people you meet and then and only then will you have a blessed life because you'll be right on the inside and you'll be right on the outside you'll wear a smile and you'll wear joy un un unspeakable joy that no one could take away from you so let God be the first thing in your life Follow the ways of God. Follow the ways of the Bible. Follow the ways of Jesus. And watch how blessed your life is. And watch how, watch how, how you treat people. Watch how their life gets better. If you treat somebody with, with love, their life is going to get better. Your life is going to get better in turn because you help their life. So, so let's remember the, these things. Let's remember these teachings. Let's remember to love our neighbor as ourself, but let's remember to also embody what that means. And to speak out and to speak loud and make people happy while you have the chance. You could do it, guys. We all could do it together as the Christian body of the church. I believe in a song. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah.